So first thing that we're going to do is this rainy braid hair tutorial. It's super easy. All I did was put my hair in a hat and then I just braided my hair into a three strand braid. You guys could do fish tail braid, four strand braid, any type of braid that you want. The point is that when it's wet outside, you don't really want to have your hair down just because then that will make it just really, really frizzy. Well, you only need the light. After I'm done making the braid, I end up tying it and I leave a couple inches at the bottom just because after this I'm going to start making my braid a little bit thicker just by pulling it. After I kind of widen the braid, I bring my ponytail a little bit um, lower and then I end up widening it a little bit more. This helps it become looser, which is the look I'm going for. If you don't want it looser, then just keep it normal. For my outfit, all I have on is kind of a fashionable baseball cap, some maroon leggings from Forever 21, and a sweatshirt also from Forever 21. And here we are at the promised land. Hi, um, can I get a tall vanilla latte, please? Uh, actually, do you guys have the peppermint mocha still? Yeah. Can I just have a tall peppermint mocha instead? Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I know a lot of people say don't wear leggings as pants, and honestly, I do agree. But when you're kind of just chilling and getting dry through Starbucks, I think it's totally fine just because you are really comfortable. As for my shoes, I just put in some studded shoes on and they have the rubber grips at the bottom. Next hairstyle is super simple. All I'm doing is grabbing a small piece of my hair from the very front and parting it to the side, but you don't have to. Then I'm just twirling it and pinning it back wherever I'd like. Grabbing a second section of hair right below the first section that I grabbed, twirling that and also bobby pinning it to the back of my head. Again, pretty self-explanatory, but just grabbing another section of hair from the other side of my head and twirling it back. This kind of creates the illusion that it's a half up, half down hairstyle, except really it's just three pieces from the front of your head. This outfit is perfect if you're kind of running errands and you are kind of going to be seen outside of your house. I'm just wearing a big chunky necklace with a denim skirt and then super cute rain boots from J. Crew. These are my favorite rain boots ever. And of course I have my cheetah print umbrella. I honestly don't like cheetah print that much, but I actually do like this umbrella. I think this outfit is perfect in the rain just because it's a very casual outfit yet it still looks like you tried a lot and if the dress gets wet it's not really the end of the world and also the rain boots are probably the cutest rain boots I've ever seen so yeah ignore the huge crease in the back of my head I think that's from the hat that I wore in the last outfit. This next hairstyle is called the elegant pony because it is an elegant ponytail pretty self-explanatory. So anyways, you're just going to leave a piece of your hair out in the front and part it to the side and then scoop all the rest of your hair back into a very tight ponytail. But before you tie it, you're going to grab that front piece and just like very gently put it inside the ponytail but not tight like the rest of the hair. And then you're just going to tie your ponytail and then kind of take out your other piece just a little bit so it kind of looks like you have some side bangs going on. And that big huge chunk in the back of my head, I actually fixed that after 
I saw what I looked like in the mirror. But anyways, this outfit I think is really cute. I had just have a lot of accessories and a really cute trench coat. So yeah, perfect if you're kind of going out for a dinner and the rains seem to kind of ruin your plans. As far as jewelry goes, I don't like wearing jewelry that much as you guys can tell, even though I probably should. But this outfit I thought was necessary for jewelry, so I grabbed a big chunky necklace. And then I also grabbed some big hoop earrings. And even though I'm wearing hoop earrings and a necklace, because the dress is so simple, I think it works out really well. And I really like kind of the brown metallic -y colors I'm going for. Then I also have a trench coat. And I really like this. It's like a rain jacket trench coat, so it's super cute. You can look extra stylish and kind of serious while also wearing like a really fancy dress out while it's raining outside. This coat even has a place for your phone, which is perfect. And then I'm taking this big scarf and just using it kind of as an accessory, but you'll see how it's actually useful in rainy days if you stay tuned. I sound like a commercial. But yeah, <laughs> anyways, this dress is really, really simple, which is kind of why I love it because I need to start accessorizing more and kind of wearing jewelry more often than I do. And this dress allows me to experiment with jewelry. Oh, also these shoes are from Ugg and they are basically rain boots because they have the little rubber sole at the bottom, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this dress is super tight, which means that you can pretty much layer it under anything and you accessorize a ton. Oh yeah, and remember what I said about my scarf? This is how it comes to play. Kind of reminds me of Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. But yeah, you kind of just wrap it around your head and your hair and face are protected from the rain. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye!